what the St. Paul Farmer's Market looks like Monday through Friday, a regular parking lot. But starting at 3 a.m. on Saturday morning, it transforms into this booming marketplace where people come to buy their fresh, locally grown, seasonal produce. On this episode of Market, we're gonna talk to some of the people that make this such a vibrant marketplace right in the heart of downtown St. Paul. So let's go meet some of them. Uh, we got bagels and some donuts and a breakfast sandwich. So. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I want one. So what's your name? I'm Kim. <laughs> and how long have you been coming to the St. Paul Farmer's Market? Well, we just moved to St. Paul just a little while ago. And uh, this is my second visit here. Oh, well welcome. What's your impression so far? I love it. I love it. The color is the thing that really stands out to me too. I mean, look at this. I mean, just check this absolutely out. Absolutely beautiful. And then and then also you'll have to see all of the vegetables are organized artistically. Look at the tricolor <laughs> beans here, you know, the beets, you know, they have um, kind of organized in triads. I mean, it's just gorgeous. There's music, little kids dancing all over. I love it. Chariots along with a rodeo, chariots along, and we'll all hang on behind, and we'll all hang on behind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The freshness, I love fresh vegetables, and the cut flowers. But flowers are awesome to decorate the table. I've been coming to this market since 1937. No. Yeah. Has it changed a lot? Yeah, it's moved. It used to be up on Jackson Street, then it moved down here, and it used to be mostly Italians. Okay. Fratellonis, and, oh, there's several other families were truck farmers around the city, and they're gone now, and the moms are taking their place. And made this market fabulous. So is it? It's much bigger now than it was before. No, it's about the same, except that in those days we didn't have frozen food, so you bought things by the case. You took them tomatoes, you took them home and canned them. We basically come to the farmers market because I think it's important for my son to learn that food actually comes from somewhere. Um, we really like interacting with the farmers and seeing all the fresh produce, and you get a great deal on really fresh vegetables and fruits, and it's a fun time. We rarely miss a week. It's it's a social phenomenon for us as much as a food gathering one, but we love the fresh food, we love the people. Uh, we tend to avoid crowds, but this is such a wonderful crowd, so it feels good. It's a different way of eating. You know, we used to be like, oh, I'm hungry for something, let's go get the ingredients. And now the reason I come every weekend is because I want to see what's up. And then I go, oh, the um, zucchini looks fantastic this week. So what can I make with zucchini? And so it's just a completely different way of thinking about food and preparing food and, 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 and eating. It's not like a little mini carnival. You get to watch people and all the smells. And it's just a nice, fun experience. Oh, and the spring rolls and the egg rolls. Those are the favorite. That's... Oh, and I'm going to make a recipe, so I've got that seed picked out. I'm going to look for all those things here, so it'll be really fresh. It's as much fun to come here for the food and the, and the produce and the flowers as it is to watch the people. That one so much, you know, <laughs> you know, green tomatoes. Green tomatoes? Yeah. Do you fry them? Yeah. Nice. This year I'm looking yeah. for um, a little bit different. My kids are bigger, so we're looking for meat. Definitely meat. I like organic, and I like the smells, and I like the taste of the, of the farmer's market. This is Dylan. He's been coming here since he was five years old here to the selling here at the farmer's market with me at Farm on Wheels. And that, and now he's 21 and he's still selling and he wants to be a farmer, so he'll be your farmer after I retire. My name's Mike Burton. I grew up in the Invergrove Heights, South St. Paul area. 
I've been doing this myself now for about 30 years. You, when you sell to somebody for over 20 years, you have a rapport. You get to know them. It's, they expect good product. I, I wouldn't sell them anything but. This is my younger brother. I'm the oldest in, in my family here. And oh. We've been farming for um, the past 25 years. Have you, and you've been coming here for the yep. past 25 years? Yep. <laughs> oh. It's been a while. <laughs> well, farmer's market is actually, it's actually pretty fun, but it's a lot of work. You learn a lot of stuff, like you could learn math while you're counting the money. Sometimes people give you like a lot of change, a lot of bills to break down and learn a few about math. And, yeah, it's not just about selling, it's about like learning new stuff and having a good experience. It reminds me of home. I grew up where my father farmed and everything we ate, all the vegetables we ate, he grew. Well, I really like coming here with my whole family because it's fun to have a outside outing to do in the city. And I love getting huge bunches of fresh vegetables for cooking. It's cheaper here and usually more flavorful, so. It feels homey and community. The um, chocolate stand. <laughs> chocolate covered strawberries, cookies. I didn't even see they had those. Yeah. I'm gonna go get those. <laughs> I think we pretty much cleared them out. <laughs> St. Paul Farmer's Market. We grew up on a farm yes. up north, oh. Minnesota, and we both, he, she lives in St. Paul, I live in Minneapolis. We come here because it reminds us of home. So now you've seen and met some of the people that make this such a unique and wonderful gathering place. But to really get the full effect, you kind of have to be smack dab in the middle of it. So come on down to the St. Paul Farmer's Market and get yourself some fresh local food. Guaranteed you'll taste the difference. I'm Emily Noble, and until next time, eat good food.